Hello and welcome back to AP Psychology here on Educator.com. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at the first unit from uh, College Board's AP Psychology course outline, and we're going to be looking at history and approaches over the next few segments. So history and approaches, as you uh, look through the guide that the, uh, that's linked below uh, from the College Board, the history and approaches will take between two and four questions out of the 100 multiple choice that we have for the AP Psych exam. And so they describe here, psychology has, has evolved markedly since its inception as a discipline in 1879. There have been significant changes in the theories that psychologists use to explain behavior and mental processes. Behavior and mental processes is going to be part of our definition of psychology. In addition, the methodology uh, has changed and expanded to include a diversity of approaches and data gathering. And then we have a list of people that we're going to be examining and needing to know about from this unit for the AP exam itself. So history and approaches and a few people that we need to know about in the history of psychology. So what is psychology? First, we break the word down into two. Psyche means mind. Logos, logos means knowledge or study. So the study or knowledge of the mind is the basic idea of what psychology is. Obviously, it's a lot more than that. But our definition, the scientific study, not common sense study, not intuitive study, but scientific study of behavior and mental processes. So behavior can be overt, that is to say it can be directly observed, such as crying, but it can also be covert with the mental processes, where it cannot be directly observed, such as remembering. Yeah, go ahead, I dare you, watch me remember. Yeah, you can't observe that. So all you can do is infer that behavior. But we can do that in a variety of ways, as we will see throughout this course. Uh, an abbreviation that I'll be using quite frequently is the Greek letter psi. And uh, I just wanted to create, not create, but I just wanted to find this particular one, but it's an abbreviation that I will use for psychology. Where, it should be, what is psychology now? Well, first, it connects with many other subjects. It is literally, I think, the most interdisciplinary study there is. We look at humans and other animals, rats, rabbits, dogs, cats, you name it, we're going to be looking at behavior. We look at motivation. Why do we do what we do? You know, sex, food, um, achievement. What, what's going on with that? Cognition, the thought processes that we have, how we solve problems. Uh, what is normal behavior? What is abnormal behavior? What is deviant behavior? We look at mental health and illness in this course. Treatment and therapy. Emotions. How do we express emotions? Can we express, emotion, express emotions? Should we express emotions? We look at individuals and their social context. And that's the, the, actually the last unit of the course, social psychology. People in groups. Developmental processes, conception to death, all the way through the lifespan. And biology and behavior. The brain and biology is probably in two-thirds of this course. So there's no escaping some biology. Now, we're not going to go into depth like you would in an anatomy and physiology course. We're not going, going to go into the same kind of depth as you would in an AP bio course. But we do have our fair share of biology, and we're going to need to look at brain parts. And so that's okay. It's good, it's good stuff. I'll make it easy for you to remember. 